Hey, Gated Horse Riders, it's Ivy Shakespeare. We're going to talk about how to dress properly for cold weather. Well, you might be able to tell it's flurrying a little bit today. We don't have a lot of snow, but it is cold out here. I live in northwestern Illinois. Certainly not the coldest place in the country, but definitely gets cold in the winter. Um, usually lows are below 30 during the day and often gets down to zero and 10, not counting the wind chill. So I had to learn to dress properly to be able to ride comfortably in the cold weather. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a sampling of what I wear and some of the brands that I use. Um, these are just suggestions, but a lot of times some of the suggestions I'll give you will be things that you'll read for just regular cold weather preparedness, like don't wear cotton, so no t-shirts, no sweatshirts, um, those things, hold the moisture in and keep you colder. Um, so we'll just go through a few things and hope this helps you guys. Well, quickly, because it's cold out, um, this is kind of my gear right here. This is my base layer. I've got moisture wicking long underwear. Uh, you do not have to buy expensive long underwear like Under Armour or other brands. I usually go to Walmart and find fleece leggings and stuff for under uh, $10. Those are great options and you can buy several pairs and have plenty there. Um, you can get fleece ones. Again, don't buy cotton. Uh, then always get moisture wicking long sleeve shirts, kind of like sports shirts. And there's all different styles and colors from bright, you can get black. Those are really good choices as well. I do have a camisole under this, which I think provides another layer. Um, so feel free to, to get one of those as well. That's just kind of a personal preference, but always don't get cotton. Don't wear t-shirts, don't wear sweatshirts. I used to wear those and I was cold all the time and this really helped. Okay, so another thing is uh, for long underwear, um, I would always find that um, they would kind of come up like tights would um, if I just pull my pants on next. So next uh, I put my warm socks on. So there are lots of different brands of socks. You can get wool socks. Heavy socks are really good in the winter, but only get heavy socks if you have shoes big enough to wear them. If your shoes are too tight over your big socks, then it will actually restrict blood flow and your feet will get cold. So two pairs of socks are not good unless you are wearing shoes that are a little bit too big for you so that it fits and doesn't restrict movement. So socks go on next. Okay. Good, then I like to wear jeans. That's just what I'm comfortable in, but there's lots of riding pants you can wear. If you wear riding jeans, try to make sure you get something with a little bit of stretch to them. They don't have to be tight, but you want to be able to move, get your leg up to get on the horse. So, jeans next. Jeans next. It can be any kind of jeans you want. I like boot cut just a personal preference thing. Get what you like. Skinny jeans are popular now because they work really well uh, to fit under boots and that kind of thing, and that's true. They do work better than, than boot cut jeans. All right, great. Then next, uh, next layer would be shoes, and this concrete is cold, so makes me happy. Okay, I spend a lot of money on boots. Well, compared to some people, I love Cabela's Rim Rock boots. They are my favorite. Um, I've gotten them. If something breaks prematurely, they replace them. You don't even have to have a receipt. So Cabela's boots, the Rim Rocks are leather. They also make some synthetic versions as well. They are waterproof. They last two or three years of me wearing them almost constantly. Great to tread. Um, they also have insulated versions, which I usually don't get, but I usually wear these summer, winter. These are my favorite go-to hiking, riding, all kinds of stuff. So, but there's lots of different kinds. Ariat makes them. You can get all kinds of different brands of boots. Make sure you get something waterproof with a thicker sole because the thicker sole will help keep your feet warm when you're walking on the ground and stuff. Um, lots of options there. Again, make sure you get boots that are big enough for your feet with heavy socks. I'm gonna put on half chaps, which I wear all year round, but I like especially for winter because if you have snow, it'll keep the snow out of the top of your boots. 
So to get mine to fit with my boot cut, I roll them up. These pair are a pair I got off of eBay about five years ago. Um, and it cost me only about $25. Okay, let me give you a few reasons why I wear half chaps and then you can decide if you want to wear them or not. One, they protect your pants from the sweat of, and dirt and wear of riding a horse. I used to have all of my pants wear out at the edges and the cuffs because I was riding and walking and they would rub. So wearing half chaps totally prevented that. The chaps last years and they protect your pants. Two, keeps your legs warmer, keeps water out of the top of your boots, keeps mud out of the top of your boots if you happen to walk and it was a little deeper mud than you thought in the spring. Those are all really good reasons to wear half chaps. That, uh, that's the reason I wear them. They also block the wind and protect your legs from stirrup leathers and prickles and all kinds of stuff. So I love half chaps. Those are some good options as well. Okay, next we have my vest. This uh, is a down vest from LL Bean. I've had it for like three winters now. It's awesome, it's down, it keeps me so much warmer. I really used to think vests were stupid, but I changed my mind. I used to think vests were stupid until I started wearing this one. I specifically found one that was warm, um, had a lot of freedom of movement, wasn't just more for dress or fashion, and I love it. I don't think it looks the best, but I tell you what, I am so much warmer if I wear a vest over a moisture wicking shirt. I can wear that um, and a light jacket so much sooner than I could before. Um, and then in winter, I wear my heavy coat over it as well. Normally this, along with my winter coat uh, and scarf and stuff, is what I would wear for just a normal day, 30, 30 to 20 degrees outside. I need to go do chores, I have lots of mobility. I can wear my coat and my gloves and we're fine. But if I happen to know it's gonna be really windy and I'll be riding and it's cold, um, this is what I'll be wearing. I will wear these leather schooling chaps. I got these off of one of the horse for sale sites for $25 like 10 years ago and I haven't had to replace them. And I know you can buy them for 60 or $70 new. They're just basic leather suede chaps. They're not really for showing. Um, I wear them just for training or doing stuff in the winter. They give you tons of mobility where snow pants uh, sort of restrict your movement a little bit. Already my legs are warmer. These cut wind like nobody's business because it's leather. If you're against leather, there's lots of windproof uh, things that will work just as well. So go ahead and feel free to choose those options as well. Next, coat. This coat is by Mountain Horse. I order from Dover Saddlery. Dover Saddlery has excellent customer service. Um, I'll have links to everything. Uh, in the description below for everything I've mentioned. Um, but I really liked Dover Saddlery. I bought a coat. The second winter, the zipper failed. They sent me a brand new coat. Um, no questions asked. So really consider buying stuff from them because a great return policy and good customer service. Um, this coat, there's lots, you can spend a lot of money in coats. I think this coat is about $150 to $170 new. Um, I like it that it's designed for riding horses. It's long enough. Um, it's warm too big and bulky or too long. Um, if stuff is too long for riding horses, it gets in the way. Um, it has gussets in the back that you can snap and unsnap that can fit over your saddle really well. Um, it has a zipper that can zip um, up and down for, for riding so you can reach pockets easier. Or if I'm feeding, I'm doing clicker training. I got my treats in a pouch. I can reach that so much better. You would think I'd know how to do a zipper by now. Okay, there we go. Zip it up. Got lots of pockets. I love all the pockets. It has a hood, which can also fold up and be out of the way. But I, I really like that feature there. Pockets here, 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 here. Inside pocket, uh, quite warm. This, the sleeves can zip and unzip. There's also gussets under here for on warmer days when I need a winter coat, but I start sweating. This will allow me to not stay wet because wet means cold. 
that's a really handy feature that I found I like um, because I'll be riding in different kinds of climates. Um, and also, like I said, so the zipper. It's not a defect in the coat, it's a defect in the user. Okay, now we're back. So like I said, this can zip up here. So like if I'm clicker training, I can reach my pouch or my pockets easily. Or if you're riding, you know, it can give you a little more, a little more room there. That works really well. Next, we have one of my favorite things that I discovered that I love. These scarves. They're one-piece scarves. So it's like a tube. They come in all kinds of colors, styles, warmth, thicknesses. I actually can't find my other ones right now, so I'm just going to show you this one. Uh, this is created by a company called Buff, and I'll have a link in the description below. BuffUSA.com is their website. Um, they are thin, really warm scarves that are multi-useful. So a lot of times I'll have two scarves, one really heavy one to go around my neck because these don't really seal up and you can get really cold here. So I'll put one heavy one here and then one over my head so the helmet fits over. So I'll just show you a couple different variations. So they have some very, very heavy ones that are like designed for like motorcycling in the winter. So they totally cut the wind and I have one of those and those are awesome. Again, I'll share a link in the description below. So I'll have one that covers, that comes way down, covers my neck like so. And then I'll have a second one that'll cover my head, um, not a hat, but it'll come up over my ears and I can fit it um, under my helmet, which is the best part. I always ride with a helmet, but I'm always cold. My ears get cold. These are thin enough, they can fit under your helmet. They are awesome. I have four of them right now. Um, I don't need any more right now, but I highly recommend them. Try a couple different ones. I had a wool one, it wasn't my favorite. More of the synthetic ones I really, really like. So here's the other thing. So I'll do two other things. One um, will be, I'll bring this up like this. Do something with my hair because it gets in the way. Um, normally it'll be braided, but so something like this. So you can see it's covering my ears. And uh, then I can take my helmet and put that right down over it. Uh, and if I'm cold, bring it up for my mouth and nose. It looks stupid, but I tell you what, I am so, so warm. It's amazing and it's not too tight. It fits really well and just great. So consider the buff scarves. Again, links in the description below. Uh, then if I'm also out and it's not super cold and windy, for this one because it's a little bigger, I just fold it sort of in half and use it just to cover my ears. Um, kind of like a hat, but I don't like hats very much. I'm picky, so, you know whatever you want, but just showing you that you can use it for different things. And there you go. Covered my ears. If it's not too cold, like today, I don't really feel like I need a scarf. It's only like 32 mm -hmm. degrees or something, so it's not super, super cold. So I'll wear this. Again, lots of colors, buff scarves, really great. Get them, lots of uses. Just stash them in your car, all kinds of stuff. All right, and again, I can put my helmet on. over this as well. Okay, so last but not least. Ah, uh, uh, gloves. Now, if you live with really cold, your fingers are always gonna get cold and kinda no matter what. It's just kinda one of those things. It is very difficult um, to keep your hands warm. <laughs> so, uh, I have these gloves here. These are the first kind of winter riding gloves that I bought. These are SSG 
They have the knit cuff, which I think is super, super important um, because it keeps your wrists warm. I don't get winter gloves that don't have a knit cuff. I've had these for, I think, three or four, or maybe? Might even be like five or six years, these leather ones, and they're finally just starting to fall apart at the seams um, because they're leather. I tried to keep them oiled, but in the winter, the horses slobber on them and they get snow on them and they get wet. But these are awesome gloves. I think they make them also in a synthetic version. I really like these leather ones. Um, as long as you're willing to oil them and take care of them. There's also other gloves out there that I want to try, but these are the ones that I have tried and I, I know work pretty well. Okay, so that's my conclusion of my riding clothing that I wear. Um, again, you can put more layers on. Try to avoid cotton. I used to wear cotton t-shirts and sweatshirts and go outside and I'd get cold. So you can learn from my experiences and maybe it'll help. Uh, the other thing that I have learned on really cold days when you've got to be outside, a tip from a friend of mine who's a fisherman, is you know the hand warmers, they make the smaller ones for hands or bigger ones, get those warmed up um, and then actually take some tape and tape them to an inside layer of your clothing. So like I have a camisole on underneath my, my shirt, I would tape it to that so it's not on skin but it's right next to the layer and tape them to your torso. Right about here on your body, help keep your core warm. It is amazing how much that works to keep you warmer out there. And like sometimes you can have them for your hands, you can put them in a pocket, but I tell you, having them on your torso, it's amazing how much warmer it keeps. So that's a that's a really good tip to stay warm. Um, obviously, conditions are going to be different everywhere. People are going to have ideas. I'd love to hear your ideas of what you wear to keep warm. I know some people love Carhartt clothes and great. I haven't used too much of them and what I have used, they're too short or too stiff. These are clothing that I feel I can move really freely in. Um, so, but I'd love to hear what you guys use. Go ahead and comment below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to keep updated on new videos. And I hope this has helped you and have a great day and enjoy the ride even if it's cold.